Yo, what's up, Survivor fans, uh, castaways, Survivor enthusiasts? This is Chad Kincaid, not Kinsiod, Chad Kincaid, <laughs> uh, reviewing your episode 11, Survivor Philippines review. Uh, lots went down in this episode, uh, so I'm going to get on to that and some other stuff momentarily. Um, as usual, they do a recap, but they did a cool thing this week. They did an intro with the Merge Tribe and the Jury. Uh, they do that sometimes on Survivor Seasons. I don't recall if they did that for One World or not. Don't recall, but it's always cool that they do an intro of some sort. Uh, I harp every week they should do an, um, a intro uh, every week instead of being bi bipolar, basically, about it. And, uh, hey, we'll show an intro one week, and next week we won't. They should just keep the intros, you know. So, uh, that's that. Um, back at camp, more... Uh, they bully target Abby more, and she's crying, and uh, hate seeing her cry. Malcolm consoles her a little bit. Uh, his he put it best. They ran over her like a truck, and going back forward and backward and hitting her again. It's just it was hard to watch, but things do get better. Um, um, major event in this uh, episode. They do a the Survivor food auction. Um, the couple bright spots. Uh, Carter wins twice. Uh, mainly, he won for his tribe. Uh, the first time, he opted to trade a, I believe, what was it? A baked potato with sour cream. <laughs> I hate sour cream. Nastiest shit on earth. Uh, he, um, it was a choice between that or beans and rice for the tribe for the uh, rest of the duration on the island. He decided to be the good guy and went with the beans and rice. And we'll see how I want to see how that plays out in the long run for him, and also he won later some, what was it, some veal shanks, uh, veal meat, for the whole entire tribe, so he should be on good terms with his tribe in this episode, at least for a little bit, we'll see how far that goes, and Abby won the uh, advantage uh, auction, or advantage item, and that comes huge later, um, get into that, uh, what else, what other, uh, uh, the other auction item that uh, surprised me was pancakes and bre basically a breakfast that Denise bid the whole 500 on. I don't know why she bid the whole 500. Guess she was really hungry and wanted the food or the protein, carbs, whatever she said. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, another another 500 uh, surprise was uh, scooping buying wine and cheese, and he's not even a drinker, so I don't know. Um, but the uh, the Survivor auction was pretty good this year. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, and then uh, they go back to camp, and uh, Penner and Abby are talking about the advantage. And yeah, she's still getting bashed on pretty hard by Penner, and you know, and, and Lisa said, "There's only so much, but well, I can't go here and Abby without laughing at some of this stuff." So she's still getting hit kind of hard. Um, we go into the immunity challenge. Uh, Abby uses her uh, advantage. Basically, she skips all the way to the final. Uh, so, it was a rope challenge, and eventually it's Penner, Carter, and Abby, and Abby wins the immunity. It's uh, She deserved that after that brutal tribal that she got last time. So, she's safe this week, and it's a ha-ha <laughs> to the other people, so that gave her such a hard time at that previous tribal council and uh we go on to tribal and kind of sad that penner yes penner got voted out you know i like penner i respect penner being a returnee after a medical evac he played a hell of a game sad to see him go uh he's now i don't recall no i it, i would great to see him on the jury and uh do a hell of a job on that, you know. I think he'll be a hell of a jur jury member, you know. Just being Jonathan Penner. His exit was hilarious and classy. He wasn't bitter at all. He actually made everybody laugh. So, um, kudos to Penner for that. Um, on to other things. Again, drama outside Facebook. Uh, pretty much, Abby's getting hot, getting hit hard on Facebook. She joins Facebook groups and tries to interact with the fans, and it's just getting really bad. Uh, they bash her there, and you know. And here's my um, here's my thing, guys. If she wants to join the Facebook group to talk to uh, fans like us, consider her a privilege. Don't bash her. Don't
don't give her a hard time. Just be happy that she's there. And think of it, it's just a game, you know? That's all it is, you know? Try to get to know her outside the game, okay? You know, all these people that give her such a rough time. Imagine if you were on Survivor, okay? How would you react? How would you play? How would you, how would you, how would you go about in those circumstances? Starving, hungry. On top of that, a busted knee. How would you act, you know? How would you, how would you play the game? Okay, so before you think about bashing people, you know, be privileged, be happy that they're willing to communicate, interact with us, and give us their feedback, spend time chatting with us, you know, think of the positive, you know, try to think outside the game, okay, alright, it's just a game, <laughs> okay, so that's all, and, and, and for my God, they're targeting me too, so haters, bring it on, okay. You can hate me all you want. Haters make me famous, okay? Just bring on the negativity, okay? Just bring it on, alright? Just bring it, okay? But that's all I have to say about that, you know? Uh, words of wisdom, final word on this. Get to know the person outside the game, because that's all Survivor is, is a game, okay? Alright, well, I'm going to close with that. Uh, next week looks like the family episode. Uh, it's always been my favorite episode just because of my, how emotional it is and how heartwarming it is. Seeing all the drama on Survivor for weeks on end and um, finally having an episode that has happy feelings is great. So that's what's going to happen next week. But I'm going to warn you, uh, I will not be able to watch the episode because I right away because I will be closing that night and and I don't get home till like midnight or so. So the review again is going to be a little late. So, but looking forward to that episode and. Uh, so keep the words I have to say, because Abby's awesome, and to all you people out there, try to get to know the real people, okay, just, just, just words of advice, okay, alright, peace, love, chicken grease, I love y'all, I even love my haters, y'all make me famous, peace, deuce, back.